one and all, and listen to tales of excitement and adventure. Tales of daring heroes, savage monsters, and bards who just couldn't keep it in their pants. Tales of friendship, nobility, drunken foolishness, and unforgettable fun. These are tales of role-playing games, fair listeners, and this is Rollin' Bones. My name is Ryan Howard, and I shall be your god. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Danishes and Dragons, your Saturday morning RPG morning show. I am your host and king of the boneheads, Ryan Howard, and today we are beginning a uh, new series uh, where I will be uh, playing through for the first time uh, the original Baldur's Gate. Uh, it's a, a legendary CRPG, uh, one that a lot of people... Uh, have very fond memories of a thing that got a lot of people into Dungeons and Dragons back in the second edition days. And uh, yeah, I've never played it before, so I will be going through this for the first time. We'll be playing the enhanced edition, uh, which was put up by Beam Dog a couple years ago. I know it's a little bit controversial, but it's also the best way to play Baldur's Gate on modern systems. So, you'll have to. Uh, Forgive my, uh, you'll have to forgive my, uh, my noobishness, and, uh, you'll probably have to forgive a lot of sins as I go through, uh, this first playthrough of Baldur's Gate, including me accidentally calling it Baldur's Gate once or twice. Somewhere along the way, I picked up that bad habit of calling it Baldur's Gate. I don't know why, but... It just kind of happened. I know that the like the Norse figure that that it's named after is Balder. So uh, yeah, I will correct myself at least a couple times before I get it right. Uh, one other, actually, multiple other things I want to do before we actually jump over to the gameplay itself. Uh, just just set some expectations here. Um, firstly. I am brand new to this game. I am not a seasoned CRPG player. Uh, so I'll be playing on easy mode, and I will probably suck and die uh, a few times. Maybe a lot of times. Uh, the reason I'm playing on easy mode is, one, I want to get the story, and two, I don't want to constantly be doing things over and over again while I'm playing this game on stream. Uh, it's not my intention to make people think I'm good at video games, uh, because I'm kind of not. But, you know, that's that's what we'll be doing. Uh, two, I'm playing a ranger, and that's non-negotiable. Uh, I am I'm creating Cromwell in this game. And uh, any subsequent RPG playthroughs that I play, I'll be creating Cromwell. And if I get bored of Cromwell, then maybe I'll create Tewin. Or maybe Kieran. I don't know if we need a death counter or not. I, I honestly I, I honestly don't know. I'll have to look up how to, you know, set up those bots and stuff like that. I've got a friend who streams video games, so we can we can uh, circle back around with her. Uh, I, I've talked about her on the show before, Namira. She she does great horror streams. Uh, so if I have any questions coming out of today about how to uh, continue doing this, I will uh, I will ask Nim. So just a little bit of background for anyone who's not familiar with Baldur's Gate, uh, anyone who maybe like myself came into the series uh, you know, with 5th edition and, and got into it because of you know things like Critical Role and stuff like that, rather than uh, kind of the old version of the, uh, you know, the thing that brought new people into the hobby, which was video games in the, in the late 90s, uh, Baldur's Gate is one of BioWare's earliest games. So anyone who's a Mass Effect fan or a Dragon Age fan, uh, this is 
this is where it came from. And I love old Bioware stuff. I don't like new Bioware stuff. That's not a controversial opinion. I know. But this is kind of where they cut their teeth before they did uh, Knights of the Old Republic, also a fantastic game. Uh, and and they, they got their start doing licensed Dungeons & Dragons CRPG games. It was published by Interplay in 1998. Uh, it takes place in the Forgotten Realms, so, you know, those of you who are D&D heads, this is, uh, you know, kind of the main setting that D&D is run in, uh, especially these days. Uh, now that... Uh, now that Greyhawk is kind of gone by the wayside, uh, Forgotten Realms has really kind of eclipsed it as the the main D and D setting. The rule set for this game is a uh, second edition A D and D, uh, and it's an Infinity Engine game. There's a lot of games that ended up doing this, uh, and and. If this series takes off and, you know, you guys enjoy this, we'll play the second Baldur's Gate. Uh, we'll play the Icewind Dale games, uh, Planescape Torment. Uh, we can even get into stuff like Neverwinter Nights. I'm, I'm happy to go back and explore all of these old D&D uh, RPGs that, that came out. Before my video game awakening happened, I didn't get into video games until right around 2000 or 2001 when my cousins gave us their old N64. Uh, they wanted to get a PS2. Their parents said, uh, you can't get a PS2 unless you get rid of one of your consoles. So they got rid of the N64. They gave it to us and... I fell in love. The first game I ever played was Star Fox, Star Fox 64. Uh, and that game will forever hold a place in my heart. Uh, I did a little bit of PC gaming. I never really got into CRPGs. The closest I got was uh, kind of the like light RTS games. Uh, I've got one of them here that I played a lot of, Robin Hood Legend of Sherwood. Uh, this was an isometric uh, RTS kind of game, a little bit of an RPG, but more of an RTS. And then I've, I was also really big into the Army Men series as well. So, I mean, that's kind of my, my history of gaming. I never touched CRPGs. Uh, w when they were super popular, I was far too young to get them or enjoy them. Uh, if I saw them in a store, I wouldn't have picked them up because if you... I, I like to buy games based on the box art. Always, uh, always a great strategy there. Or if I knew, like, the character. I had a lot of superhero games because that's what I knew. But, you know, if I had walked into a... Uh, my, my first games were purchased from EB Games and Media Play. So if I walked into there... And, you know, like flipped over a box and saw these like top down screenshots with all this text. I'd have been like, I don't want to play this. Even if my dad was like, nah, it's cool. I want to play this. But I have grown since then. I am into this uh, this hobby of role playing games uh, like a like a fiend. And so I want to go back and see the games that got people into this hobby before I got into this hobby. Uh, the, these games that are so well regarded by people. And it's timely because Baldur's Gate 3 just came out of early or came out in early access. Uh, I won't be playing that game until it's done. I'm sure I'll have to answer that question a few times as more people come in, but I will not be playing Baldur's Gate 3 until it's done. So. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get things launched, and uh, we will start the game. I'm going to switch over to my screen share. You may see the uh, the OBS loop for a second as I get things set up, uh, but I'll switch over to GOG Galaxy pretty quickly and then launch Baldur's Gate from there. So, uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let us begin my adventures in Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. I'll see you on the other side. Woo! OBS loop! 
Let's go over here. I'm playing the GOG version uh, because it was cheaper than the Steam version. They had it on sale. So let's go ahead and hit the play button. Sinking, sinking. Okay, just want to check that we can all hear the audio that is coming from the screen. If not, let me know. Cool. All right, now that I know we can hear and you guys can see me, let me, uh, let me go ahead and kick things off. We're going to go into the tutorial first because, again, this is my first time playing, and we're going to create a character. Good morning, Loopy. Welcome, welcome. We are just getting into character creation here. So I'm going to start off. I'm a dude. I have already imported a custom character icon because you can do that with the Enhanced Edition. Check these lovely digital oil paintings, though. Some of them are really cool, and some of them are kinda jank. Minsk and Boo. We will encounter them probably today. I don't remember how early Minsk comes into the game, or I don't know how early Minsk enters the game, but I get the feeling we're going to encounter him. Go over, over. That's great. At some point, I'm going to create a Mad Kelt character or a Mad Highland character and use that one. Get all the way through these portraits. There's a lot of them by Thunder. There we go. Anyone who's read the uh, the Ranger's Apprentice books, you will recognize this picture. Uh, that is Holt from the Ranger's Apprentice uh, that I stole from the one of the cover arts from one of the editions. Uh, I'm using it for Cromwell because Cromwell, as much as I claim that he is Aragorby one Kenobi, Cromwell was in fact lifted whole cloth from the Ranger's Apprentice series and Halt. Halt is probably my favorite fantasy ranger. Uh, I, I'd even put him above Dritz Duarte, not in terms of power level, but in terms of uh, me loving him, then yes. Loopy, I didn't know that you read Ranger's Apprentice. We could have we could have rapped about Ranger's Apprentice uh, several times because that is one of my favorite book series of all time. That and Alex Ryder. That's what got me into reading in the first place. All right. Class, I've already discussed this. Ranger is non-negotiable. Okay, and we're gonna go with the stalker kit. I guess I could go with base ranger. I'm gonna go with stalker. Alignment. I am going to be neutral good. Hey, Carl. We're just creating characters here. All right, now you guys are going to watch me roll scum here uh, because I want good stats. So you're going to watch me hit re-roll until I get somewhere in the 90s. Come on, Baldur's Gate, don't embarrass me in front of my audience. There we go, 92. That's respectable. Okay. So. Oh, I have to reassign points, that's right. be an 18. That needs to be an 18. You know what? 
I'm gonna drop one from there, because that doesn't take any bonuses away. There we go. That's respectable. I don't need intelligence all that much. Um, actually, you know, charisma doesn't... Charisma's not an important stat for a ranger. So I'll take that bump to wisdom. Okay. Let's see. We're good here. Done. Skizzles. I've got four proficiency slots. Uh, so let's see. Gonna take that third bump and two weapon style. Take that bump in a scimitar. Wakazashi. Let's see, what else do we need? Should probably take a bump in a uh, longbow. I'll go ahead and take another bump there. It'll let me use kind of the weapons that I that I want to use off the bat. Done. My racial enemy to start with. Yeah, we we just got started, Carl. So uh, I, I'm still I'm still creating my character for the tutorial, uh, which I'm gonna run real quick because I am. Uh, I'm a noob when it comes to the world of Baldur's Gate. Yes, definitely good luck on that. Car repair is a very scary thing. Because there's always the chance that you could uh, end up spending a lot more than you thought you would. All right, let's see. What can I do for his hair? Honestly, that's about right for Cromwell's hair. Skin, maybe a l Actually, no, that's, that's pretty perfect. Uh, major, we want this to be. Minor, we want this in the brown range. There we go. And done. All right, let's listen to some of these voice lines. Cause I did, I did go through this just to like see if it worked on my computer and stuff like that. So I wanna, I wanna see what some of these voice lines sound like. Death to you all! That is not Cromwell. Your life ends here. Still too effeminate for Cromwell. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. That sounds like Ringo Starr. You got this coming! That sounds like Red Brown. Let's give them a right thrashing. Get over here. You got this coming! If nobody else is gonna step up, why not? Let's give them a right thrashing. Well, of course. I am the obvious choice. I grow torpid and require slumber. Mm, no. Get over here. Right then, I'm in charge. Let's go back to Ringo Starr. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll lead him well. You know what? I think Ringo Starr might actually be the, uh, the selection here. Sounds like Carl's having a good time. And of course, what is in a name? One of the best names I've ever come up with, stolen from a historical character and the middle name of one of my friends, their mother's maiden name, Cromwell McGuinn.
I guess I need to create party. Like the rogue gets a few skill points. And a couple of proficiencies. Your life shall be mine. All will die. Death will come swiftly for you. Go, go, go! What are these females? Everybody voices? listen to me now. Everybody listen to me now. Enter forth. Greetings to you.
Okay. Myself with everything. Let's see. Yes. We're paused. A simple task. There we go. Yep. Cool. My next topic is on how to differentiate enemies from people you want to talk to. Enemies have red circles. People you want to talk to have blue circles. Mm-hmm. Seems legit. Okay, let's see. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not going to be reading this text. I'll read it in-game. But uh, for right now, this is just the tutorial. Here comes a servant. Wasn't that easy? Oh, there we go. What I'm going to do now is turn hostile. Hey, it's Jason from, uh... Well done. That was a good hit. Belt will talk with you now. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... I now want to talk to you Jason about from, uh, uh, Boy Meets World. He's actually a fairly prolific voice actor. He's in, uh... He's in Jedi Knight, uh, Jedi Academy as well. I believe he was also on Step by Step. What now, I wonder? Let's take a look at my inventory. I don't have anything. I have 200 gold. Equip items by placing them in the appropriate slots around your character on the inventory page. Oh! Swoot! I have a scimitar. Good job. It's time for us to go upstairs now. If you move your cursor over to the stairs, you'll notice that your cursor becomes a stair cursor. What do you need? You want you it? You gather your it. party before venturing forth. Now to the next part of your lesson, the journal. I want you to check your journal. Okay, let's check the journal. You know, honestly, this isn't too terribly difficult, so I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna piece. Go ahead, start the game. Yeah, let's, let's kick this off. Check this cut.
Well, let's just rip off Lord of the Rings. Elfie, which cat is it? Which cat's in there bothering you? And by bothering you, I of course mean loving you. I'm going to assume that it's Nora. Yep. Yeah, Nunu typically uh, typically loves very aggressively playing single player. New game. Yes. We're gonna go ahead, do it again. Shouldn't take as long this time. There we go. Grace. Kumon. Class. Ranger. Neutral good. Abilities. Baldur's Gate, what did I tell you about making me look stupid in front of my audience? Come on. I didn't just re-roll 93, did I? I'm told this is common practice. You can't do this at a gaming table, I know that for sure. I would not let this happen at a gaming table. But this is a video game. And the dice are not with me this morning, come on. How many 76s am I going to roll? seems perfectly fine. Maybe I should drop one from Charisma. There we go. I guess me 18s and everything I need. Good there. Skizzles. I don't get any actual skills, but I should start with some proficiencies. I promise we'll have some actual gameplay coming up here in just a second. Now that I've got everything up and running, where is my... Where was that very earthy green I gave to the fake Elfie last time? That was a nice color. There we go. for a bit of the roof and tumble. Yep, we'll do Ringo again. I'm on the Gwen. Yeah. 
Can this be edited? Oh, it can. I love it. I love it. I just hit clear. I like that you can just, like, update your character biography like this. This is pretty cool. I know it's not going to have any mechanical impact on the game because this game came out in Just ignore him. I need to fix that. Let's see. I don't know that I have any tool set up like that, Elfie. I, I think I forgot to do that, so I need to, uh, I need to fix that. I'm still figuring out this whole Twitch thing.
Elemental. Alright, we're good. X. I think we're good there. Your life ends here. Get over here!
if you'll give me just one second. I'm just gonna, this is gonna be the last one we're gonna do, and then I'll go ahead and start. I know this isn't terribly exciting, but I need to start off the party with Man, they are not with me today. Come on. I hate RNG. That's good enough. and sword and shield style. Dun. We're gonna need cure light wounds, definitely.
Who's in for it now? Now you're going to be sorry. Go, go, go. Done. Except play. We're going to start on easy. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than Narration ever, is, uh, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Cool. Here we go. Yes. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Oh, just having a bit of fun with ye, my friend. The monks be walking around with poles in their nethers. But you know, you're always welcome here in my sight. Gorion did well by ya, did he? By ya, he did. So is there anything I can do for ya? Some drinks? A room to sleep? Anything to buy? Let's see, what kind of gear can I get? Two scimitars. I have a longbow. Let's see. Well, Elfie, you'll be happy that you can buy blood wine.
Ah, there it is. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Let's go outside, now that I'm kitted out. Done and done. Spit it out. I'm on it. I'm on it. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. shield. What do you need? I've got this. Don't worry about me. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. What now? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Where to now? It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Hello, child. Shall of we course. continue <laughs> your yeah. lessons? Hello, child. Shall we continue your lessons? I think right now. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Good there. I don't have anything to sell. So. I believe that is how you do it.
Dawn? I'm Dawn. Hello, child. Shall we continue your lessons? You rang. Sorted. Tell me. You want it? You've got it. There we go. Yes. Hello, child. Dawn? I'm Shall Dawn. we continue your lessons? Okay. Do -do -do. Continue, continue. Let's be moving on in dialogue. Hello there. Let's see what Hello she there. Wants. What now, I wonder? A simple task. Go on then. Sort it. Hello, child. Shall we continue your lessons? And accessible is purple. Character out of control is yellow. Enemies are red. Green are player characters and blue. Where to now? Yes. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Give it to me straight. What now? I want a simple task. Hello, child. Shall we continue your lessons? What do you need? Where to now? Done and done. Do a quick quest. Hello there. Hello there. What do you need? What do you need? Okay. Okay, they gave me the book, didn't they? What do you need? What do you need? Let's see. this character's name again. This has not been terribly interesting. I apologize for that. If I'm just getting started here.
Okay. So, it is found in the hay bale on the left side of the shed. There we go. Search. Just a couple of mild fetch quests to get things started, get us some experience. Hello there. My book! Oh, you remembered me of Gorion when you grin like that. Oh, you remind me of Gorion when you grin like that. Raising you had been hard on him, I know, but he says it's a toil of love and a toil of destiny. You must be a very special child indeed to draw such praise from a man of his silent nature. Here, take this little gem of mine. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. What do you need? Tell me. Trying to find that healing spell. Come off it. I've got this. I don't want to loot him. I guess he's dead. I'll, uh, rip. Give it to me straight. Don't worry about me. So, uh, yeah, he didn't make it. Yes. 
Done and done. What do you need? I've got I this. Need to get out of the way. What now, I wonder? A simple task. Tell me. Done and done. Oh, we're just wandering around. What's up? Father615, how you doing? Welcome to chat. Uh, I am just finding out how bad I am at this game and just kind of screwing around right now trying to figure out what to do with myself. We're going to go back into the inn and I'm going to sell off this uh, this gem that I got. I'm also going to real quick my scimitars. There we go. Done and done. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Okay. She needs some armor. There we go. Yes. What now, I wonder? Of course, <laughs> yeah. A simple task. Let's take a look at the map and see what's all around. Bunkhouse, candle keep, clinic, storehouse, priest quarters, temple. Candle keep. Let's take a look at the journal, find out. Let's see, so Hull is at the gate. Which I believe is down here. So that's where, actually no, that's, well, yes. That looks like the gate, so that's where we're gonna go. Greetings, young one. Don't run over him. We'll go talk to them later. Hey, ya! Uh, it's me, Emmowen. I'm surprised that stuffy old Gorian let you away from your studies and chores. That old fiddle-faddle. I snuck off, too. Old Puffguts Winthrop was looking for me, but I've got all day to do his chores. You have time for a story today? No, I can tell you don't. What have you been up to? Let's see. Okay. I don't know if she's supposed to come with us or not. Don't really care. Gotta go by the gates here. There's Hull. Okay. Gotta go to the barracks. 
which, if we take a look at the map, are right back Our here. Our rules are very strict. There we go, we keep on moving. Keep on moving. And go to the barracks. Yeah, we're gonna go in. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, I should have joined the army. Let's see what Fuller's up to. Joined the army. Right wall. I should have joined the army. A simple task. All right, now we're gonna go over and talk to Hull, see if he'll cough up some coins for bringing me the sword, or bringing him the sword. <sighs> yep. There we go, some coins. Now we'll go up here. I am very proud of you, as I am sure Gorion is. There we go. Let's talk to Gorion here in just a little bit once I'm done running these errands. Oh, we're just going to go separate ways around the castle. Back to the inn. My old girl's as clean as an elven arse. Let's see. Gonna need to buy some crossbow bolts. Okay. And buy a helmet as well. Can she wear it? Yes, she can. Cool. Where to now? Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Done and done. Done and done. All right. Now we're going to go give those bolts back. Then we'll give the... Uh, Give the medicine to the cow guy. And let's see what oh, cool. we can see. <laughs> yeah, I should have the army. And dialogue. Oh, ten gold. Don and Don. Let's keep her moving here, keep her moving, keep her moving. Need to go back up and give the, uh, give the money that guy with the cows, or not the money, give the antidote to the man with the cows. And we're gonna 
Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Then we're gonna go talk to Gorion. I'd sing for all the cows, but I... Okay, let's see. Doesn't look like anyone needs to level up. Now I wonder. Journal. What are we looking at? Finished, finished, finished. Find Gorian. All right, so he's probably in the keep. Because everyone around there was trying to get me to go there, so yeah. We're going to take a look inside the keep. And then we'll see if we can't kick this adventure into high gear. There's Gorion. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. This is very unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It is very important that you pack your possessions so that we may leave Candlekeep immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. Alas, I cannot tell you where we are going, for I have not truly decided yet. All that is certain is that we will be far safer on the move. Perhaps the woods might offer some secluded security, or perhaps the city of Baldur's Gate would offer cover amidst its teeming throngs of people. I do not know where we shall end up, but I have a few friends here and there. I will think on this. My dear child, you should know yourself well enough to purchase the gear you need. I have given you what I can spare, so hurry off to the end and speak with Winthrop. Use your skills as a reference and buy what basics you must, though spend wisely. His price is a fair, but you may not have enough gold to purchase all that you would want. Alright, I'm ready to go, so we're going. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Sweet. Let's hurry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. That Don't is worry. Jim Cummings. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You are perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. And that You're I believe fool, is believe Kevin Michael Richardson. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. Famous voice actors I'm in here. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. Get out of here. Incredible display of power. Ish. He is a father figure in a fantasy world, so naturally, especially cruel he's dead this meat. morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. 
it was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Hmm. Of course. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowen. Sorry I followed you, but I never get out of Candlekeep, and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. I... I saw Gorion, and I am so sorry. Kind of figured something bad might happen to you out here. I... accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. I can't remember exactly what it said, but he might still have... It might be on his... his body. Anyways, I'm not gonna let you wander off around out here all alone. Never let a friend down, no sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise, I will. Okay, she has joined the party. I need to reorganize my party here. Oh, we camped, apparently. <laughs> Remove, because he died. Rip. I didn't know you could die in that opening. A simple task. Yes. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, we want to go back up there. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Get a look at his body. Before we sally forth. Have to identify the corpse. Maybe he'll have some equipment on it. Let's see. What does this belt do? It's my belt now. My friend Gorion. Please forgive the abruptness with which I now write, but time is short and there is much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass, though not in the manner we though not in the manner foretold, and certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events has proved increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those that in thy care, but the time nears when we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We have, perhaps, been a touch too sheltering to this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in the matter, I could not, in good conscience, let events proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will move very soon. I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night, if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit regardless of how sparse the cover. A fighting chance is all that can be asked for at this point. Should anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travelers along the way. I do not need to remind thee that it is a dangerous land, even without our current concerns, and a party is stronger than an individual in all respects. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the Friendly Arm Inn. They know little of what has passed, but they are ever thy friend and will no doubt help however they can. Luck be with us all. 
I'm getting too old for this. E. All right, so Easy E is uh, helping us on this mission. I surmise. Let's see. Who can carry what? What is your class? There we go. Are there wearable pants in this game? What now, I wonder? A simple task. Let us consult the journal. Okay, it is to the north. Where is my compass rose? Running through the forest, it's Shia LaBeouf. I hope we don't encounter Shia LaBeouf in this forest. Oh, a thing to fight. Let's murder it. My blade will cut you down to size. Oh, cool, we murdered it. I'm sorry, is north not up? Might have to actually get on the road. Lame. I just bumped my microphone. Ronan has not joined me yet. Should have named something after him. Okay, we slaughtered that goblin. Hello there. Let's talk to this uh, dwarf. Well, busy day for me today indeed. Strange noises throughout the night, and now a plethora of people standing about in the wood. You do look a touch more hospitable than the last two I met, though. Well met, stranger. I am Coulson. I doubt these are the ones you seek. Uh, they do not seem the friendly type, and are very far afield of the inn. If you wish to meet them, I left them not a moment ago, just up the road. Uh, you'll have to pass them anyway if you wish to go to the friendly arm. There's a crossroad a ways to the east, and the inn is north of that.
I have little to give besides advice and goodwill. Uh, make friends where you can, as traveling alone is almost certain death. If you, uh, you will want to surround yourself with like-minded companions, lest you risk making enemies in your own party. Uh, aside from this little tidbit of wisdom, I'd say you're on your own. Luck be with you. Thank you as well. Fare thee well, as they say, and dialogue. Where to now? Well, of course, <laughs> you. I still cannot get over how much he sounds like Ringo Starr. What do we have here? Ye already be disturbed, now leave me be. Your company be toil enough as is. Montalon, you are so aggravating! <laughs> Disturbing to my demeanor! Okay. Gain some more party members. Something troubling you? Let's see what he's got. I don't know what just happened there. Looks like he's some he kind of me? wizard. This better be good. And it looks like he is a halfling fighter. I mean, I guess Your it shows in their uh, inventory. Oh, he's a necromancer. Hmm, this could be interesting. Yes. Done and done. So we have to go oh, into the woods. There, wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there, wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh unto uh, ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without a decent conversation since. The traveling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, may I inquire which pertains to thee? Ah, oh, that I would. The inn is but a short distance to the north, and its doors are open to all. I've no doubt that thy friends shall be there, waiting with open arms. My sympathies for all the hardships the road may have inflicted upon thee, though I am certain everything shall turn out for the best. My, but I have wasted too much time and said too much already. I shall take my leave and wish thee all the best. Don and Don. Bye, fella. Ooh, things to kill. <laughs> there we go. I am become death, destroyer of worlds. All right, take it easy there, Necromancer Jim. Actually, it's a Necromancer Czar.
Hello, pal. Ooh, what's going on here? If you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There'd be beasties about with better hearing than we. Around here, I wouldn't worry yourself too much unless you're brainless and charge everything you see. Mostly gibbering, mostly gibberlings, but they aren't too much of a hassle. A fair bow and a good sword arm could handle one, maybe two. More with mage or cleric backup. Wolves have become a bit more predatory lately. I think it's because more people are hunting for their food, seeing as how the iron shortage took away their normal livelihoods. Hungry wolf is a nasty thing, but I wouldn't travel without a group if I were you. I'm sorry, do you not see the four people? Four people that I'm with? Let's keep her moving. Actually, it's probably this way. Travel. We made it! Yes, the poor hooves. Alright, we'll need to find Khalid and Jahira. Looks like the woods. I should have joined the army. Perhaps rules is a touch too formal. It is unwritten but accepted that while herein you will act with the utmost civility to all other guests. This is neutral ground, and all grievances are left at the gates. If the grievances come in, then you will go out. Enjoy your stay. The Friendly Arm Inn looks more like the Friendly Arm Castle. But you know, that's okay. Of course. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Such manners. Well, I need a gruff hand for this task, so keep your please and thank you garbage for the nobles. I was robbed blind by some hobgoblins with inside of this very inn's walls, and I need you to return the favor. They took my ring, and that's all I want back. Will you do it? What's in this for me? Okay. Taking care of some hobgoblins. Now I just need to find the actual inn. Okay, I'm 
believe this is the end, but we will find out. You are welcome here in Gal Glittergold's sight. So this is the Temple of Wisdom. Of course. <laughs> you. Hi, friend. See if he's got anything I can take. He does. There's a bounty on my head. Love to see it. Cool. Now I want of course you must <laughs> gather your party before venturing forth. Okay. Hey friend. Good to meet a fine sad such as yourself. Of course. <laughs> yeah. flagon of ale then why do you bother me be gone Please, seat yourselves whatever you wish. I hope our establishments to your liking There's Kali. Uh, calm yourself, dear. We must proceed c c carefully. Gorian often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians if you if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companionship should be your own. We could travel with you until you get settled, help you find your lot in life. It would be fitting last it would be a fitting last service to Gorian, though we should first go find Nashkel. Khalid and I look into local concerns and there are rumors of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage? You would do well to help us, it affects everyone, including you. We are to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gaskill.
Okay. Let's see. Give it to me straight. Where to now? Yes. Done and done. Can I help you? He's a fighter. Okay. She's a fighter druid. He's a fighter thief. Okay, cool. So. If it's getting all the get is good. Yes. What now, I wonder? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at the journal. See if we can't do anything about those hobgoblins. Gather a little coin. Get things started. See if we can find us some hobgoblins. Going gobbo hunting. He's got studded leather. Never mind. She already has leather armor. She's got leather armor. He's got splint. I don't think he could wear armor. No, he can't. He cannot wear armor. 
way to now. A simple task. All right, so we need to go back to that woman and give her her ring. We're off to a little bit of a slow start, but things are starting to pick up now that we've got some adventure. Some adventure that we're rocking. And I'll look up some strategy tips and stuff like that for next week uh, when we can truly kind of kick this off in earnest. All right, everyone, let's uh, let's go into the house, please. Yes. What now? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Where to now? Done and done. Let's coincide. Done and done. Hello, pal. Oh, she must be in the inn. Or near the end. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can't find her. I thought she was in there. Oh no, she is in here. That's right. This is where she is. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, don't I have your ring? Yes. What now, I wonder? Yes. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Thought that was Wait a ring. No. Let's look this up. This is bothering me. Oh, it's a flame dance ring. That's why. That's the problem. Okay, yeah, just have to keep going. Yes, done and done. My mistake. A simple task. Right. Here we go. What does it does it do anything though? Let's go uh, hobgoblin hunting. Goblins here. So I'm going to assume that if we keep going, we will find more hobgoblins. Go north. Maybe off this way.
Okay, that's the top of the map. Let's see if there are any more hobos hiding over here. See what we can see. Gotta find those hobgoblins. Flush them out. Okay, there's the road. Simple task. Your servant awaits for the group. Yes. What now? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. For the group. Can't use Can she use a helmet? Yes. She can use a helmet. can I give people I'm at like full encumbrance I've got a bunch of swords and stuff I'm, I'm gonna sell off some of this let's give him a helmet Where to now? Well, of course <laughs> yeah. you have need of me does Khalid already have a helmet yes he does cool I'll do my best Yes, done and done. What now, I wonder? Well, of course, <laughs> yeah. Nope, just a wall. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Move on down, move on down. on into the gate. A simple task. Yes. Make me sick. Gorion would be proud of your actions. Where to now? Storm and dawn. Now we need to go to uh, Baragost. I believe. Let's take a look. Nashkill. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Nashville. To the south. Yes. So yeah, in that direction. Now we go to the forest. Done and done. I'm going to move to the south. Actually, I forgot to do something. I want to talk to the innkeeper at the Friendly Arm, and I want to get some provisions, sell off some of this equipment that I'm carrying, and see if I can get some other uh, weapons and stuff for everyone. A simple task. And I'm not allowed to sleep. Our next assailants may just live. So keep following. I tire. I'll be much more agreeable with rest. Seems like everyone's tired, so we're gonna camp out. Or stay here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I need some air. It's been dreadful slow business lately. What do you need? Don't worry about me. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Let's see. Simple task. It's been dreadful slow business lately. We'll rent a room and we'll rest. We'll get on the road. Let's see, is there anything else that should be purchased for anyone?
sell one of those. And sell one of those. Let's see, he's got a bunch of scrolls. Done. One sword versus bastard sword in Baldur's Gate. Okay, so the Bastard Sword is actually better than the Long Sword because of the 2d4 damage. So we'll do that. Give Khalid one of these Bastard Swords. Dagger. All right. Where to now? We're gonna oh, head. Simple toss. Gather your party before venturing forth. I am gathering my party, O oh, voice in the sky. Of course, <laughs> yeah. South.
let's see, short bow, no. Also a short bow. I need a long bow. Must be my other scimitar. to now. Done and done. Hey, yeah. None are better. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Save game. about me. Where to now? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what need ye dead? I fear I need healing, lest I not survive. Go suck your blade. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shafira. No! No! Yes. Don and Don. What now, I wonder? Your voice is amber. I could do no other. Where to now? Don and Don. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna call it here for the day. Um, yeah, basically we've already saved. We'll go back and kind of do that thing over again there. Uh, so just to let everyone know kind of what's coming up uh, the rest of the week. Basically, uh, let's see, on Monday I am talking with Stu Horvath from the Vintage RPG Podcast. We're gonna be discussing the history of Chaosium. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be talking about that. That's going to be a series that I'm doing coming up. And then next Saturday, we will continue uh, to have breakfast at Baldur's Gate. And I will see if I can get the hang of this game. Uh, so until next time, whether you rolled a 1 or a 20, I'm so glad that you rolled your bones with me, Ryan Howard. And I'll see you next time. Good. Full on quit.